Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and today I have some adorable wintry pen pal projects I'll be making with you all. But before I explain more about that, we are going to look at some of the beautiful images shared at hashtag the paper letter blog. I always love seeing these on Instagram. This, for example, is a project that was modeled after the pen pal wallet I made a couple of weeks ago. I will try and link the corresponding projects down below if I can. Also, yes, we're listening to some Christmas type music. Oh my god, I never thought I'd actually do this, but don't worry, this is probably the one and only time I will ever play Christmas type music. I, of course, wanted to upload this video before Christmas, but life got in the way, so <laughs> you're watching this now. I hope it's still fun. Then we're still watching the pictures. Uh, the next one is from my pen pal Amelia and she made this for the Croft Club swap we did over on Patreon. And this zigzag flip book is also modeled after a, um, a video I did. I will link that down below. Okay, it is that time again. I am redoing my voiceover for like the ninth time already, but I'm gonna try again. As you could see at the beginning of this video, I made a couple little pen pal projects in a wintery theme and for those projects I used the following dies. I'm just unboxing kind of as we go. Uh, some like this one are a little bit difficult to see, but I will of course die cut them all and then you can see the examples, which is a little bit easier than just showing them as they are. All of these dies are from In Love Art Shop and I'm doing a little collaboration. I've done this before, I just get a coupon I can't talk today, I don't know what it is. I just get a coupon code. This is for a rolled flower because I'm not actually going to use it in this video. Uh, I just thought I would explain. But I just get a coupon code uh, to spend on dyes or other stuff from their store and then I make a video. So I don't get paid to say anything or do anything. I just receive dyes and I make a video <laughs> and that's basically it. I also have a discount code if you want to use that. If you end up buying something, I don't get anything extra, but don't we all love discount cards? And I will, of course, link all of the dies, both the ones that I have used and the ones that I haven't used in the description box down below. Then I'm showing you the supplies I will be using. I don't actually, <laughs> believe it or not, but I don't actually have that many Christmas supplies or winter supplies because I don't really craft with that theme too often. So I went to look at my stash for things that had like wintery colors, I even found, as you could see, the Flow magazine pages in green and red, which I thought was perfect for a kind of Christmassy color scheme. And I went, I ended up going for two, two different sets of colors. Um, the one that I'm going to start with is this one. It's kind of a cold pastel color scheme. So I have this, is it purple? I think it's purple, right? Like this lilac-y purple and some light blue and some pink. All kind of cold colors and I thought they would go nicely with some wintry designs and then the other color scheme is of course the red and green kind of classic with book pages because that's just wonderful <laughs> so that's the supplies I'm using um the first thing I'm doing is I'm just cutting a strip of paper I'm completely eyeballing this I'm not using measurements I'm also not going to give you any measurements because you can make this flip book in any size you want basically I just created a little card with an extra flap on the front to close it. So uh, that's that. <laughs> um, the first die that I'm using is uh, this snow globe die. Because I don't really craft with a winter or Christmas theme, I don't have that many supplies and I thought it would be fun to get some die cuts so that I could make my own supplies, like my own wintery die cuts. And a snow globe is kind of the first thing that came to mind. I think they're so whimsical. I could even use them in other season like I guess but uh, this snow globe comes with a set to turn it into a shaker so I just die cut all of the elements and then this is the most fun part I was also giving this a thumbs up <laughs> during the unboxing this set also comes with a little die to cut out tiny snowflakes and little circles so that instead of like using plastic sequins you can make um, like shaker elements out of paper which is very eco-friendly and which i love very very much and also 
I mean, snowflakes kind of perfect. <laughs> so all I did is I just die cut some white and some light blue. I stuck that down with some foam tape in between and a clear acrylic front, I guess. So it's a shaker and you can actually make the little snowflakes move. <clears throat> um, yes, now I'm going to show you the one die that was kind of difficult to see and explain, um, but that I can use all year round. This is a, um, I lost the word there for a second, a mailbox, a miniature mailbox die. I think you will know that I picked all of these myself because I'm just so enthusiastic about this miniature mailbox. Um, you get all of the elements for creating the mailbox and also some grass and a miniature envelope, which is just adorable. The envelope doesn't really look that nice. Um, it's a little wonky, but it's adorable nonetheless. So yeah, mm. so I thought I already before I have to explain this because sometimes people say, oh, Vivian, it looks so easy when you do it. Usually I go without a plan for these projects. I did have a plan because I wanted, I was so set on making this video before Christmas, <laughs> which I failed in, that I wanted to have a clear plan so that I could just execute it and um, film kind of fast because if, if I go without a plan, it can take me days and weeks and weeks and I didn't have that kind of time. So I already knew that I wanted to put the pocket on the right, explain that in a second, and the mailbox on the left for decoration. So like the, 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 the I really can't talk today. The, um, the base of the project I already had in my mind and then many of the decorations were just uh, made up as I went which is how I like my crafting. I don't really like crafting with a plan. Usually it turns out very different anyway. But okay, I made the miniature mailbox. I'm definitely going to make some more for pen pals because I just think it's so cute. Um, you could actually make it functional. I guess you could have the mini envelope come out, like take it out, like be loose, but I glued it down because I was so sure I would otherwise lose it. I'm gonna take a sip of tea because, hmm. Call myself the Chatty Pen Pal channel for a reason, but how are you doing? Your voiceover like nine times. That's too much chatting even for me. <laughs> but okay, um, while you're watching me decorate, wait, first focus. I need to explain this next die. The next die I had to pick because it's like a little pocket. Like I create some kind of wallet type pocket. It's very itty bitty. It's very tiny, very cute. Um, and I ended up putting glue not just on the fold lines but also in the middle so that I created two small pockets. Of course you could leave that part out so that you would have um, one large pocket in the back and one lar smaller pocket on the front. But I wanted two small pockets. I do have to admit it's a little bit smaller than I thought, which is cute, but it also makes it kind of difficult to find goodies for it. Of course I succeeded because I have tons of like stickers and stuff that I could fill it with, but do keep that in mind if you're planning on getting this for yourself. It's adorable, but it's maybe a little bit small for like pen pal goodies. Um, <clears throat> oh yes. Okay, first maybe I need to explain a little bit more. I am grabbing a gold watercolor. Very cheap, but very effective because I liked the wintry pastel look, but it didn't really scream winter or Christmas or festive yet. So I just thought I'd add some gold <laughs> and that worked very, very well. And also because I used too much water on the watercolor, I didn't want to like have the paint go to waste. So I'm also just going to color in some gold on the mittens. The mittens are another um, dye that I kind of had to pick. If I think of winter, I think of snow globes and mittens and <laughs> other adorable things. Um, so I was very enthusiastic about this and it does not disappoint. I ended up not using the mittens for decoration, just for goodies, but I do have some ideas for how to use them with decoration, as decoration, sorry. I just didn't have the space for it anymore. Then I have some craft paper to stick down the snow globe. This goes very well according to plan. I mean, I didn't plan on the um, craft paper, but with according to plan, I mean, I stick it down correctly. A little bit later on in this video, I'm going to stick down a, um, a 
die cut that says believe and I forget that I still need to be able to close the flap. <laughs> so that caused some trouble, but of course don't toss your project, just work with what you have, even if you made a big mistake like I will in a second. The die cuts I received in a winter swap, if I'm not mistaken. I do think that they are from like a well-known collection, but I don't think they are the real die kits. I think they're a knockoff version, but I think they're very cute. I just can't tell you where they get them. Um, but I, when I was planning this video, I was planning on uploading it before Christmas. And then I also wanted to include a little self-care, uh, mental health. <laughs> this is the die cut. I'm going to end up m like sticking down wrong, the believe one. A little segment about mental health and self-care and you know Christmas or the festive season or December or the end of year or whatever it's not always easy it's not easy for everyone like some people will love it let me know are you someone who loves December or do you kind of like secretly hate it like I do I think one of the reasons why I don't really do Christmas crafting is because I I don't really like Christmas that much <laughs> don't tell anyone but I, I don't know, there's just usually so much stress surrounding Christmas and you have to go from one family to the next, from one side of the country to the next. This is where I realized I made a big mistake. And there's always so much pressure around the end of the year and New Year's and also Christmas because everything has to be perfect and everything has to be fun and you have to like talk about what you have achieved this year and you have to... Like, there's so many high expectations and <laughs> being the person that I am, I don't really deal too well with high expectations. I don't really like high expectations, to be honest. And I also still kind of, like, I'm doing much better with my anxiety, but I still kind of struggle with social events like these. I really, really enjoy myself, but it's also extremely tiring. And I am spending a lot of time, like, worrying about stupid things like, oh, <laughs> am I like do people like me or, or am I doing okay or you know like the little insecure insecurities one might have so for me it's always a combination like I, I like Christmas because I get to see my family despite us being in lockdown now let's not talk about that <laughs> um, I get to see my loved ones and I guess anything that has to do with food and lots and lots and lots of it it will make me happy because food is like my happy place but then there's also the side of social anxiety and high expectations and just getting very tired <laughs> from all of that food so I, I did want to mention that and the reason why I wanted to do that before Christmas is because I know that many of us I'm not the only one can be kind of hard on ourselves like okay it's super difficult but we have to survive and but we have to do well and it's not going to be easy but there is no space for like taking care of yourself or that's how I used to feel like I just had to suffer through and lately the past few months actually I'm not going to say years because I'm not that far but I actually learned that it's um this is going to be such a cliche thing to say but it's so okay to take that time for yourself and in the end you're gonna be better for it because I took some breaks during Christmas like Christmas was at my parents so I could just go upstairs and hide for like 10 minutes or find a cat and pet it for like five minutes and those mini breaks actually helped a lot <laughs> so I ended up enjoying it more because I also allowed myself to um, be okay with the fact that it might not be all fun like that might sound very weird but as soon as you tell your as soon as you tell yourself hey it's okay if something is not only easy if something is difficult as well then it, it becomes a lot less difficult if that makes any sense I guess for me a big part of my always being tired is the fact that I don't accept that I'm tired <laughs> I'm like fighting it too much and I don't want to turn this into a whole life lesson kind of thing I just I did want to mention it because I know that I'm not the only one and sometimes it's nice to talk about that <laughs> it's nice to not feel like I'm the only one so I'm not saying that it's easy to just accept things for how they are 
it's never easy. I mean, it took me years. I've been in like in and out of therapy for eight years. So trust me, I know that it's not all easy, but, or no, seven years, I think. Seven years, <laughs> still a long time. So it's not always easy, no, but I mean, mm, accepting that it's sometimes difficult is part of the process. And I think I've kind of started making that step. <laughs> so I wanted to share that, I don't know. Um, you can just ignore my rambling, I know many of you do. But let me, it's always awkward to make the transition from like something serious back to crafting, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna go back to talking about the crafting because of course I've decorated it with some of the die cuts that I had in that little basket. They've been in my winter stash for two years, I guess, because last year I didn't even pick up the box of winter supplies. Like I just stuffed it in the back of my closet everything that had winter written all over it and I never took it out of the closet last year but this year I did and I found the die kits and I also added some um, like tiny words it just says more of this please I typed that on my computer and I printed them out they're actually patreon printables so if you are my patron you can print these tiny words as well and print them out as many times as you want I just did the one that says more of this place because I don't actually I didn't actually make any wintry tiny words <laughs> so I thought it was kind of cute it's like a snow man next to the male so either more of this as in more snow or more mail I guess the second applies to me <laughs> this is such a rambling <clears throat> I can't even s insult myself without tripping over my words this is such a rambly voiceover but it's okay <laughs> acceptance is half of the uh, process and i wanted to get this video up because i'm i miss my upload schedule i'm gonna try and go back to that what i'm doing now is something i've also done on the front just use a jelly roll the brand is called sakura and they're great a jelly roll to add some little doodles because of course the paper is uh how do you say that like blank like there's no design on it so I tried to um, <laughs> liven it up a little by adding a border and some little dots. This is a washi tape sample that I have actually received from someone else, but because I didn't use it, I thought it would be cute to send it to someone else. I hope that's okay. It's like, I'm not re-gifting it. I am just not throwing it out because it's not sticking anymore. I, I hate the thought of not using something and then it not being like me having to throw something out. I just thought I would give it. I, th I guess it is regifting, but not in me trying to be rude, just me trying to be sustainable. Um, <clears throat> I have those little tags with white wax seals on them. I made so many mistakes. One of them is up like slightly, not upside down, but tilted the wrong way. The other one is, uh, I actually, um, the one that doesn't have a tag anymore, I accidentally made that halfway onto my desk. <sighs> the video of that is on Instagram if anyone wants to see. <laughs> I made so many mistakes. But I do still think it looks kind of cute. I just made uh, white wax seals with some gold foil. And I used that to wrap up the flip book. As you can see, I stuck um, down... I, um, stuffed the pockets with some stickers because i just thought the color scheme matched quite nicely and we're moving on to the next project and the next die i thought this was so adorable i kind of had to have it i have seen it with someone else before i guess on instagram but it's a teapot and it's kind of like a teapot i guess gift bag or like when you close it you can stick something in the middle which naturally had to be a uh, tea bag <laughs> um but the only problem with this is that i die cut both of the papers uh, the right way up but because it's like mirrored sadly i couldn't stick down I can't explain this. I didn't have the right, the die cuts the right way to also do the red side. <laughs> I didn't think that makes sense. So I just ended up using some gold paint instead. Um, just add a little detail. This is the tea I'm going to add. It's a baked apple tea. This is the special spoon. 
I got from my grandma. Uh, it's beautiful, it has flowers on it. So baked apple tea in a tiny little teapot. Uh, I don't know how you would call this. Would you call this a gift bag? Maybe a teapot gift bag. It also stands up, which I think is adorable. So once my pen pal has taken the tea out, she can just use it for decoration. I already knew that I was sending this to my pen pal, Laura. I actually haven't sent it out yet. It has just been sitting in my craft room for like a week because she sent me loose leaf tea. And I love that because uh, loose leaf tea is usually pretty good and less plastic involved <laughs> again not trying to shame anyone i drink all types of tea but i loved it so much that she shared one of her favorite teas with me that i thought i would return the favor so we have like rooibos baked apple tea and then the adorable little teapot and i'm just writing what it is and how to heat it up and like how long to steep it for on the little tag and because i used red and green i also used a red and green twine to hold it together <laughs> and I thought it looked really really cute the only problem or not problem for me it's not a problem but uh, the only thing is in many countries of course you're not allowed to send bulky mail as flat mail but then if I if this was too bulky for regular mail I would just send it opened because I think that's cute as you could see I didn't uh, glue down the side flaps because I thought it would make it a little more difficult to open but you could very well do that because it has fold lines and everything this is just a short a quick version but i at the end of this video i'm showing you everything up close and what i love about it i already said it is that it stands on its own the next die is this one i wanted to do a book page as well but i didn't like the way that looked so i just did i die cut um some craft paper and this die is just a pocket with a flap so it's like an envelope kind of and when you open the envelope there's a little pocket inside with the scalloped edges and i love that so much um so i yeah <laughs> i think it makes sense what i'm doing here i'm just decorating it with some more die kits these are stickers actually and again, I received them in a gift or maybe I purchased them. I really forgot. I haven't like I've had this for a very long time and I've never actually used it. So I don't remember. I really wanted to use those. What is it called? Leaves, I guess, but I, it didn't fit. So what I did is I cut it in half and I put the top half peeking out from the top half of the a gift for you sticker and then the other half peeking out from the bottom really not making any sense today <laughs> so this is a basket filled with uh, little things i picked from the winter books um the majority like 90 percent of the things in here i received from others in mail so i'm just like going through all of the stickers that people sent me and all of the adorable gift packages um to see if there's something that i can use to decorate this little uh gift bag these are stickers. I'm sure actually that I got these in a an advent calendar as well. Someone made an advent calendar and sent it to my PO books. I think it's already two years ago. So I can't tell you where to get those either. But I did end up putting some of the stickers in that little gift bag. Little goodie pocket, I guess. Yep. Um, I have a confession. I have not actually sent any of these projects out yet because I, I finished this so like close to Christmas last week and I, oh, time has just been kind of crazy. I I worked and then I visited family and I visited friends and oh, it's been, it's been fun. <laughs> but I didn't have a time to actually make the mail to send these out. So if you receive one of these, then I'm sorry. It's going to be very very far after Christmas. I hope you still enjoy it. So it says a gift for you and then I also wrote goodies for you on the inside. That kind of bothered me because it was like for you on the front and then for you on the inside. But I mean, that's just a nitpicking. I don't think it actually matters that much. So the last thing I'm doing, I ended up die cutting some more of the mittens because I thought I already said that, but they're so cute. I also die cut some white ones and some from like vellum, gold foiled vellum. So the last thing I did is I just um stuck some of the mittens into the pocket i wanted to use them as decoration but they're a little bit big for that project so i just added them as goodies instead 
So here's all of the uh, goodies up close. This one already has a recipient. The other two also do, but I'm not ready to send it out yet. So it might come like all the way in at the end of January, but <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if you like it. Let me know. Do you like Christmas or is it like a hassle? <laughs> For many people, probably a hassle. And um, yeah, I guess I will talk to you again very soon. You can also follow me on Instagram or become a subscriber over on Patreon if you like. Mm, I wish you all... If I'm not on here before the end of the year, I'm hoping that I am, but I don't know. I wish you all the very, very best for 2022. I'll talk to you all again very soon. Um, be safe, okay? And <laughs> take care of yourself. Uh, we're not actually going to do anything special for New Year's Eve. Just probably watch TV and eat food, <laughs> which is like my favorite thing to do anyway. And then I'll talk to you again very soon. Okay, bye.